a lemon day. One, two, three, four, a lemon day. <laughs> My name's Louis Cravanti. I'm 28. I run three small companies and I model. I'm single, but looking for a best friend. Someone to complete me, somebody that I can do everything with. I want somebody that is real. A limit day. <laughs> Basically, I want to get to know each girl. I want to find out what makes them tick, uh, what their likes and dislikes are, and who they are as a person. Catalina I chose because I wanted to get out of LA. The first leg is going to be right as the boat right over. That's where I'm going to have to make the first cut when we get off the boat. I am Amy Amata, I'm 23 years old, and I'm a medical sales rep. Apparently I've got this sexual move to me when I do dancing, and no matter what it is, I can't get any guys to turn their eyes off of me. Uh, every guy that I've ever wanted to get attention from, I've always succeeded. Amy, Amy yes, good to meet you. It's nice to meet Pleasure. You. My name is Maria Strain, I'm 20 years old, and I'm an aspiring actress model. My spirituality is basically what keeps me focused. It's like the glue of my life. <laughs> How you doing today? Oh, I'm doing great. Looking forward to this? Just thriving off the energy of this beautiful sunrise. My name's Lauren, I'm 27, and I'm a senior product manager for an online e-tailer and going to school part-time for my MBA. I think I do have some secret talents. If the sense of humor, if there's a right time for a couple good jokes or some witticisms, I do bring those into the conversation. But above all else, if it really gets difficult, I break out a song. Down in the depths. I'm very well known for a good firm handshake, and it usually always elicits a comment. Hi. Hi, I'm Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Pleasure. Nice day for a boat ride. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. Nice to meet you. What's your name? <laughs> Lauren. 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 Firm Amy. handshake. Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah. I know. Well, I'm recuperating <laughs> still. <laughs> My name's Maggie Welter. I'm 24, and I write for teen magazines. Take me. You want to take me? Can you take me? No. I play so many sports, and I was a gymnast for 10 years, so I'm very flexible. And I'll be in the gym, and I'm stretching, and some of the guys will come up and start stretching next to me. And one day, a guy comes up and he goes, everybody loves it when you stretch in the gym because you're very erotic. How's your day going? Good. Yeah? Yeah. I met them all on the pier, and then we went up to the boat. I uh, went on the top deck, got a little good little view of the harbor. Got a little bit to know a little bit about each of them. Hey, Ellen. Hey, I brought you a muffin. I didn't know if you had a chance to eat. So. Lauren bringing the muffins I thought was funny as hell. She presented it at like the wrong time, I guess, um, so it didn't really work for her. You know when I do all that hard work you did in the gym yesterday? I'm actually very happy that I brought them up and they at least gave me something to keep going back to and if I make it into round two, which I will, um, I will be bringing up the muffins again and I'm going to make him eat one of those muffins at some point. Alright, I'm bringing the muffins, Lewis, because you're forgetting them and you're hurting my feelings. <laughs> I think my physical appearance is very drastically different than everybody else's. Well, I'm, I'm a larger build than all of these very petite little leather pan, black panted, stretchy camp women with big boots. You know, they're ready for Hollywood, I'm ready for Catalina. There you go. Um, I have to stretch. I'm about sorry. Ah. Oh. I have to stretch because oh, I'm so, <laughs> when I get, when I get like seasick, oh. Uh, I thought that was an interesting way of dealing with seasickness. The splits was really difficult to put words to. What the hell is what I was thinking? I don't want to react to that stretching. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I can do a back bend, but I'm not going to try it right now. If you feel like you need to stretch, you excuse yourself and you go somewhere and you stretch, but you don't just sprawl it out right in the middle of the floor and do and do splits. I'm actually secretly kind of happy that she's not feeling well, but um, the splits thing that just that killed me. Up next, who's going to be eliminated first? There's a whole a whole trip ahead of us, so I'm not worried about anything, you know. I think Lauren did the worst. You know, first of all, starting out with those muffins was cheesy. I would think he would give more of the axe. It's just a contest of who can wear the tightest black leather pants. I'm not going to win. Lewis makes his first cut next. A limit day. <laughs> who is Lewis going to eliminate first? Maria, Lauren, Amy, or Maggie? All right, well, this is the moment of truth. Uh, this is the hardest part. This is where I have to be a big jerk, I guess. Maggie, I found yourself, you to be, you know, beautiful, charming. Maria, you're strong, you're sure of yourself, you're beautiful as well. Lauren, you're uh, talkative, you know, you're sure of yourself. 
you're very gregarious, you're beautiful, and Amy, same thing, uh, you're a little introverted, you're a beautiful woman, but I see myself overwhelming you in a relationship. I am dead on shocked, totally shocked, okay, because first off, I was positive that he was going to get it rid of Lauren. Lauren, to me, was just annoying as hell. I cut Amy because I found her to be pretty introverted. I, it shocked me a little bit. I thought that Lauren was going to get cut. I knew that Amy was going to get cut in the first round because of exactly the same thing that Lewis said. She was very timid and very introverted. So the fact that he thinks I'm introverted is completely shocking to me. I think he missed the boat on this one. This next round is going to be a little more intimate. Um, I have a little more time with each of them now. Now I'm looking for how they're going to interact with each other and with me. I brought the small purse, otherwise we're going to have to run around, you know. I did get a little FaceTime with the muffin. I have been carrying around those muffins for the last, you know, hour and a half. I dove in and just said, Lewis, please, last chance on the muffin. So I took the muffin and I think he enjoyed the muffin. That made me happy. We're going to take a uh, scenic tour on a golf cart through the island of Catalina, which is a great place. It's a really nice island. I'm going to drive. I said he's driving. Well, that's what they told me. I wasn't the first to call a shotgun, but I didn't think we were really down to that point yet until we actually got to the vehicle. Who's... All right, I'm calling shotgun. There you go. OK, you guys. All right, I'm not. Right. OK, you know, why don't we give it to Maggie, because she's not fighting about it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're, you're driving. I just have a comment about the fact that I was just basically blasted because I was calling shotgun. And Maggie gets to sit up front because she was arguing about it. If Lauren's not confident enough to take the back seat, you know, then you're not going to win this game anyway. Advantage is not fighting. I don't really understand what the point of that was. It's a fair fight. Right. And I called shotgun. It's only fair to call shotgun. I was willing to give it up the next time around. But no, I get, I get put in the back seat because I was arguing, which I wasn't. On this leg was just, I mean, getting them outside, getting them loosened up for people on a small little golf course. It definitely showed their true colors, I think. Oh, yeah, we're hiring. At one point when we turned the corner and Maggie, like, threw herself, completely thrust herself upon him. They're all like, I said, um, I was like, this is my opportunity to kind of like throw myself in his lap, so I got to do it now. So that was kind of like my, you know, split thing for this round. It's not my style. It's not something that I would have done anyway. And she's just like the little girls that I used to know in high school, you know, who would be running after all the jocks. Big fat That's what you want. big old bonus. So. You want those stock options. I'm a happy camper. Com. Exactly, we all do. Very happy camper. Oh, I'm going to freeze here. Do you need a jacket? Uh, yeah. Oh, Grab yeah. My. That's oh. right. Ooh, I get oh. the suede. That's very nice. <laughs> very nice. I couldn't believe that. He was like, oh, I'll take my jacket. And she puts it on, she's like, oh, I love the feel, and I love the smell. Please. I don't really care what their reaction was. I was cold. This is his jacket. It is, it's flattering that he offered it to me. It smells good. <laughs> yeah, you all, you all pretty much like the rides then, huh? Uh, we drove to the top. We stopped over at this uh, scenic point. It looked over uh, Mall of Catalina. It was quite nice. It was very beautiful. Apple, banana, grapes. Offered them all grapes and, you know, fruit, whatever. There, <laughs> there we go. go. Um, they all had some champagne. They all decided on mimosas, actually. I had my orange juice because I'm not a drinker. Oh, I had a banana. Is it gross? Yeah, I'm not into this. The drinking thing might have been a little test because if he doesn't drink, he might, you know, not want some alcoholic for a girlfriend. Um, the other girls drank a lot. Lauren, she like was like tipping it back. All right, everybody. <laughs> all right, so I guess we're gonna head down to the beach. I'm confident enough to see. You guys all set? After the mountain, we came down and we drove down around town a little bit. We kind of did a little uh, side street tour of the um, area. And that's where we were discussing the uh, wildest things that we've done. I'm taking a risk here to tell you this, but <laughs> I was riding dune buggies topless in Brazil. Boy, I was getting on my damn nerves, I gotta tell you. Um, she was just working it way too hard. I was all right, this is, it was crazy, and I don't even, it's weird crazy, I don't even know why I did it. I was like kind of on a dare, and I don't know how the person came up with this, but we're walking around with um, nothing on but cheese slices on my chest. What? We glued cheese, cheese slices, like Where American are you walking slices around? with cheese with two. Coincidentally, every time she's questioned, she talks after 
I have an answer, and she feeds off that and says has similar answers to what I say, and she tries to like use my answers as her answers. My friends dared me to put a rubber glove on my head, run down the street naked while we lived on, and this is in the middle of uh, Munich, run down the street naked that we lived on yelling, I'm a squid, I'm a squid, look at me, look at me. And I did it. Squid, I'm a squid. <laughs> with, a, with a rubber glove on my head like a squid. Did anybody have a glove with them? <laughs> Everybody just started talking about how they were all naked. They were naked in Europe and they were naked walking around with cheese slices on their breasts and wearing a thong bikini. What is that? I just remembered one that I think is even a little crazier than the dune buggy thing. I, w I went hiking with these girls out in the San Bernardino Mountains. Oh, I live for adventure and I whitewater raft and I do this and do that and do Fine. You know, she didn't look too adventurous to me out here playing football. Ready? The football was fun. We just tossed it around. We had a little like q and I uh, basically let each of them know how I was viewing them at that point. I you think you, it you does can be happen. icy. Huh? You can be kind of icy. Do you icy? ever get that? Icy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes. I don't know. Sometimes? That's not a okay. sometimes. Right after you said that I was icy, I said, Don't you also come off icy sometimes? Do people ever perceive you that way? And he's like, Definitely. So I sort of just played it off into like both of us being the same way. And Maggie, do you have people ever tell you you're snobby or anything like that? Snobby? Snobby. Snobby, no. I thought it was really funny when Lewis had mentioned that he thought Maggie might come across as being snobby. There's something about her I just don't like. Judging from what Lewis said in our little football game, which is why I think I might have lost a little ground. So tell me, how do you guys view me? He asked us what we thought of him. The other girls were saying, you know, stuff that you would say to any guy. Oh, you know, you're nice and you're self-assertive and you're blah, blah, blah. Just say it. You're hot. You're a 10. <laughs> there you go. You're the man. I wouldn't say she was being slutty. She was just being like a little girl. She was being like a little girl who wants attention. And I mean, you just saw her out there. She's spinning and she's kicking the sand. Maggie, um, I just don't get really good vibes from her at all. She's really in this, like, super competitively. I can feel it really strong. It's really obvious, you know? She's just kind of a She's a who's trying to act prissy. Coming up, can you guess who Lewis is going to eliminate next? Possibly, um, Lauren. <laughs> I think I'm out this round. I probably would feel somewhat humiliated if I get the beat, although I think that I probably will. One gets cut, two move on to another round of Eliminate. Next. Eliminate. Who is Lewis going to eliminate next? Maggie, Lauren, or Maria? So I have to make the second cut. Um, this one was hard, um, but I came to the decision because I find one of you just too much to deal with and it kind of was irritating me and I was a little upset with some of the things that were going on. So Maria, could you give me my jacket back? This is your stop. Why, what did I do? You're a little icy. You're a little icy to the other girls. I definitely his loss because he didn't really take the chance to get to know me or talk to me more. He made an instant judgment that I'm icy and whatever, when in fact I was just trying to create room for everyone else. I was shocked, shocked and dismayed that he cut Maria. I actually kind of liked her. I was pretty psyched about that. And when he said icy, I was like, whew, this girl is mean, is mean and she's making up stories. Lewis is playing it off to be this like philosophical, uh, well-cultured, traveled man, but I think he's really just an animal. Woo! I made the third cut, final round. It's me and, La is it Lauren? It's me, I don't even know her name. That's how bad I want her to lose. All Maggie's been talking about is how great she is, so now I'll have a chance to show them all. Okay, round three. This is the, I wanted to see what they'd be like in public. I wanted to see what they'd be like in a restaurant atmosphere, um, see how they're gonna react, especially to being asked to do karaoke of all things. I'm looking for all around class. I want someone who knows how to present themselves in any situation. We have two extremely different girls. Um, they're both extremely attractive. One is very outgoing, very gregarious, um, very talkative. The other one's outgoing with a great sense of humor and really knows where she's going in life. They've both got some very attractive qualities. It's gonna be a hard one. Well, we are in a um, 
karaoke bar. So. Yay! I was ecstatic when he said karaoke. That was what I was hoping for. It's actually karaoke. I have a song. I was hoping for the opportunity to sing. I got a chance to do it. It wasn't as perfect as I would like, but I think the point got across. Lauren's up on up there singing karaoke and she's got this good voice and he's looking at her and he's smiling so I was like, I, you know, I know I can't sing so I've got to do something and I've got to do it now. Ooh, ooh, listen to me baby. And you know, all I can do is dance so I got up there and I hope it wasn't too much for him but I, you know, got up there and showed him what I had. I wasn't like erotically touching him or anything. Um, but I was, you know, touching him a little bit, and like I, when I was dancing with my little butt on his leg. I'm curious as to whether he found it, oh, this is great, and she's sexy and hot, and I love this, or this girl is going way too over the top to try to outshine this other girl. I don't know whether he'll be offended by that. We'll see. Well, that's good. Thank you. you can sing, and you can dance. Because I want to try to be the bigger person in all this. I'm not going to be the one who's going to jump up there and mount him, you know, when she was doing her beautiful song. Did you pick a song? Did you pick a song? Oh, God. Um... I'm like, I couldn't even pick a song in, in the book. That's why I gave him the book. When Maggie sang karaoke, I got a huge kick off of that. I mean, that was the funniest thing I've seen in a long time. Guys, please make it out one. Love them. God bless her. She made a show of it, that's for sure. You know, coming into this round, I knew I had to do what I do best. <laughs> and it was being an adult. Had a pocket full of horses, Trojan, some amused, but it... Lewis's reaction during her song was pretty much the same as mine, although I don't think he was as aghast as I was during it. I know my mouth was hanging about a mile wide, jaw to the floor. Hey, that was a good effort. Maybe I can't sing, but I've got the courage to get up there and have fun with it. Woo! Up next, who's the perfect match for Lewis? I think I'm more his type, and I think he knows that. If that's the kind of woman that you want, and if you want someone who's 18 and gyrating with the perfect, you know, little body and tight little pants who can do splits on a boat, you know, hey, more power to you. Good luck. Lewis makes his final cut. Next. A limit day. This is very hard. Uh, you both have such phenomenal qualities. Um, Maggie, you're charming, you're outspoken, you're daring. Um, Lauren, you're sure of yourself, you're outspoken, you are fun to be around. But Maggie, you're the one I want to take home. Oh. Aww, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it looks like he chose the best woman. Oh. Definitely. That's all I got to say. Oh, you yeah. are a very brave man. That's all I can say. And best of luck to you. And if you stick a dollar in the back of the pants, oh. you might get a little extra action. I don't think so. Uh, she's all you good fun. It all it's all You're good fun. Good. All in good fun. Absolutely. I'll be going now. Take care. Right back. See ya. Oh, bye. Bye. No hard feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I think Lewis's decision was very bad, but probably very apropos. I chose Maggie because she was definitely the free spirit. Uh, she knew how to have a good time. She didn't care who was looking, and I found that you know very attractive and very pleasant. As a couple, they are perfectly well suited for each other. They both really enjoy probably the way that they look in front of a mirror rather than even who, than who they're with. I found my love in Avalon.